Hey guys, Dominic here. Okay, today what I'm going to do, uh, I'm trying to make the video short because it, it can get long-winded when I make instructional videos. Um, what I want to do, what I want to talk about sh uh, briefly, I'm not going to cover everything. I'm just going to talk about mostly these uh, uh, cheaper coatings, uh, the earlier ones. They're just basically what they call EDP, uh, electrostatically deposited paint. And, uh, they, you know, it's what they call powder coating. They, uh, they uh, put a, I believe it's a positive charge on the, on the piece. Correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't look this up. I should have looked it up before I started the video, but whatever. They either put a negative or a positive charge on the piece, and then the opposite charge on the paint, electro, uh, uh, electrostatic. So uh, that way when they spray the spray the powder at the piece uh, it it's it, it attracts to the piece in it and it has a uniform coating and then later they just bake it on so when they bake it it melts and uh, it hardens cures hardens and cures into a a uniform coating these coatings are cheap and as you can see here sorry I might have been off camera a little bit there because uh, the, the the viewfinder is above my head so, uh, cause I'm using my smartphone. I don't, I don't have a, uh, professional camera. I'm trying to focus for you guys. Uh, these scratches are only from the, except for right up here. I just did a little test spot. Uh, these scratches are from the sheath only. This knife is never been used for anything. I just collected it. So, uh, I bought it for, uh, at a store and, uh, pulled it in and out of the sheath a few times. And the sheath just makes a mess of this coating, and I don't see a point of having a coating if it's going to be banged up by the sheath. Okay, fine. Coatings can be banged up with use. But if it's going to be banged up with the sheath, eh, there's something wrong with the design. There's a little laziness there. Uh, uh, sheaths can be uh, designed better or with different materials, maybe line liners to, to, uh, to stop scratching the blade because I've had I have some uh, uh, plain blade knives uh, plain uh, non -ca non coated knives like this cold steel and it does the same thing it just makes a this is a, a beautiful San Mai Recon Tanto sure not the most beautiful piece of uh, color in the world but it's still beautiful in its own right and it's got some scratches from the sheath and you know it's kind of a shame that this the sheath will damage your knife it just doesn't make sense to me make a sheath that doesn't damage your knife that's just me if you don't care you don't care I care so anyway um, last year I got this AK 47 it had the cold steel EDP paint and uh, well I just called it uh, electrostatic deposit paint paint when I call it EDP paint so whatever we'll just call it epoxy paint it had an epoxy coat and this uh, BK1, I think it's called BK1. That, I think that's what Benchmade called their coating. It's just paint, guys. They just like to put fancy names on it. Um, very similar. I think Cold Steel's is just a little shittier than Benchmade. Benchmade's got maybe a little thickness to it. Maybe they added a little extra polymer or something that makes it a little dur more durable. But it ain't much different. Anyhow, what I did... This, this is the tool. I didn't use any sandpaper. I didn't use any um, chemicals. You can use chemicals, but they, you can damage other parts like your nylon washers. I mean, yeah, you want to take the blade off, but if you're lazy, um, you don't you know you don't want to take take your knife apart or you don't know how. Um, you know, you might try to do it with with it you know intact, like in one piece, and that will you know give you issues around the the tang area. So anyhow, no chemicals, no abrasives, and underneath the, the cold steel stuff anyway is uh, a stonewash finish. Uh, I can guess I can try and give you a little show here. It might not come out so great on the camera, but yeah, as you can see, it's got its own little shine. It's got like a dull shine to it, and that's just natural from, I didn't do it. I didn't polish it, nothing. All I did was I took the blade of this knife and just started scrape it I sharpen it on this stone and, you know every once in a while when I find that it's skipping over the paint instead of cutting through the paint and just slowly you got to have some patience you just slowly scrape
scrape away like that. And it did no damage to the to the knife because this this steel is really much softer than this steel. So it resisted scratching. You know, there's the positive thing. So it came out nice because I don't like scratch to scratch coatings. It's just pointless to me. Some people like the way it looks all worn and banged up. But I like uh, a natural steel. And if the natural steel is worn and banged up, I like that. But coatings that are scratched up uh, make no sense to me. Get them off. That's just my thing. I mean, you know, everyone's uh, mileage varies. So here we go with the uh, the Benchmade uh, Nimravis. I'm going to try it with you guys. I did a little test piece here at the front, and it seems to come off about the same as the, uh, the cold steel uh, coating. Um, I'll just touch it up, touch up the, the, the tip of this uh, knife a little bit for that and um, just go at it. Now you want to be at a shallow angle and make sure you don't put the point into the knife or else you could gouge the knife and make a deep scratch in that you can't polish out later if you need to polish it out later. Uh, I don't know what's going on underneath this uh, steel. I don't know the, the what it looks like underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show a little bit. I'm just going to go a little while. And I'm not going to do the whole knife. And uh, I'm going to leave the paint that's underneath the handle uh, to prevent any corrosion or anything like that. Because 154CM doesn't corrode, but it can corrode under the right conditions. Not badly, but stain. It could look, you will leave, you know, surface stains and stuff and it just, it's unsightly. So I'll, and it matches the black with the handle. So I'll just, uh, just, you know, work my way around the edge of this and, um, and leave, leave the coating on. So, okay, here it goes so that the, the video doesn't go too long. And I could talk a little bit while I'm going. As you can see, it's already coming off. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, you know, camera is... You know, it's a Note 5, Galaxy Note 5, so the camera's decent, but, you know, it's not a it's not a pro video camera by any means. So, anyway, there's some of that coating right there. It's coming off. Coming off in, like, little curls. Little short curls. Uh, little short and curlies. <laughs> Anyhow. So, yeah, it uh, you want to work your way around. And another thing you need to be careful of are the... The grind the natural grind lines of the knife now if they're you don't want to press too hard up against the edge of that you know because you'll again gouge so you have to use a little bit of uh, skill you can't just go at it with your knife like a, a maniac and you don't want to use you don't want to use a straight edge straight edges you're gonna gouge you're gonna gouge because you want a rounded edge you don't want a straight edge because you're not going to, you're gonna, you're gonna make a mess somewhere on the knife. It's not, the straight edge is not as forgiving as a rounded edge. So there's a tip for that. So I'll just go a little bit until I see some metal. That way, I think I'm gonna have to sharpen the knife just a little bit more because it's not biting. It's not biting. Just touching it up. All right, and you want to, if you're doing that between uh, passes here, you could pick up some grit from the stone and scratch the crap out of your, the blade underneath the, uh, underneath the, um, the coating. And then again, now you're going to be forced to polish it out unless you care, if you care about the scratches. So just give your knife a wipe before you go back, back to the knife. And it does take time. It takes time. It, it's not, it won't come off like, you know, like, oh, look at that. It just comes right off. It does take time, but it's worth it because you get a better finish. You get a way better finish. And that's what you're, you're, you're doing this for in the first place, right? You're not just doing it just to, just to do it. Like why wreck your knife if it's not going to come out good, right? So, um, Again, being careful about the, the edge because you can scrape into the edge and make a mess of your knife and you'll see shiny spots and it looks ugly once all the paint is gone. But this paint is tougher than the Cold Steel, um, the Cold Steel's paint for sure because it 
it was coming off way easier than this but this is coming off and it, they might have some kind of some kind of um that's bare metal there guys it might look like the black is not really coming off but the 154 cm underneath this is a little gray it's not shiny like this uh, it, it won't be shiny like a white steel it's more of a grayish steel underneath there uh something like uh something like the that kind of gray on the raja it's gray now because i acid etched it it was more it was shinier or brighter whichever term you'd like to use it's shiny is, implies shiny implies uh polish whereas brighter implies implies color so the um the 154 cm on the nimravis seems to be darker and that paint's coming off so once you get in underneath the the initial top layer you just go back you just keep that don't don't change the angle don't don't rock your knife uh, you know, once you do that, you start to really mess up. Again, you can mess up the coating underneath. I mean, the um, the metal underneath. You don't want to gouge into that metal, and you're not really gonna, because that 154 cm is way harder than this this uh, Swiss Army knife steel. This Swiss Army knife steel is not hardened very hard because it's supposed to be a user blade and uh, easy to sharpen while you're out in the field somewhere. You can just take a, a smooth rock and just uh, give her a little a few swipes and uh, and go. So uh, it, it will dull all, often. So you'll see that the, the paint stops coming off easy after a few back and forth like this. And uh, you're going to have to go back to the stone. Um, let's see if I can use this as a bit of a bolster to raise the knife up. Yeah, that kind of works better. It helps with the angle. We getting this on camera just make sure it's on focus again i just keep ta tapping the autofocus uh feature so that it just uh, gets in there so and be careful you know go slow patience if you find yourself rushing breathe really and, and i'm not saying that as like some sort of a facetious statement uh, I really mean it breathe remember to breathe and once you start breathing you're like yo okay I'm calming down for a second because this might take you see that's that's taking me how long uh, uh, 10 minutes I, I haven't checked the time 10 minutes between talking because I stop and I talk so three minutes really three six nine right so it, it should take you about if you go slow and you take it easy, 20 minutes, half an hour, you might want to stop, have an apple, coffee, whatever, keep going. Don't rush. Don't rush. And around the laser etching, go even easier because you can really gouge into that. And, you you know, again, if you want to preserve some of the laser etching and things like that and preserve the original beauty of the knife, because that's what I want to do. I don't want to just make it look like a hack job. Um, so once I get all the the paint off as much as possible and there's some residual paint in the porosity okay that's the wrong word for steel steel is not porous it has if you look look under a microscope it will look like valleys and and peaks and valleys so in the valleys there will still be some of this paint that you cannot get by scraping but at the same time you won't have to really uh do a lot of chemical clean after so once you do all the scraping off you just go at it with a little acetone which is uh you got the acetone based nail polish remover don't get the other stuff that smells like vinegar because it's not good uh the stuff that smells like acetone or if it's labeled acetone um will work it might not work on the full um you might have to soak overnight on the full coating but uh on the the the, the freshly scraped off coating uh, just a few swipes. I don't have the acetone with me right now, so uh, that would have been good. Hold on, I can just stop video and come back. All right, guys, back in. 
let's just tap that autofocus make sure the camera is so it doesn't look all blurry for you guys I just gave it a little test you can see the black that's from the paint so I'll just put a little more acetone on there there you go just your maximum strength nail polish remover this stuff it's got vitamin E so I'm gonna put vitamin E I'm, I'm preserving will soften the blade keep it looking pretty um, and if you guys really don't know I'm joking I am uh, it's not going to do anything the vitamin E is doing nothing to the uh, blade so let's see uh, acetone on the straight coating I'm pressing fairly hard nothing but the acetone on the freshly scraped coating I already did it. it that's there that's what came off there more isn't coming off because uh, there's no more loose paint but see what that the acetone has now softened the paint a little bit and now I don't have to go and scratch hard press hard I can press easy and uh, it's coming off easier right so you know you want to again be patient go back and forth between scraping and applying a little bit of acetone and I don't know if you can see the difference let's wait make it wet again because the wet seemed to uh, define define the, the the lines better let's see I'm gonna have to wet it again because acetone evaporates very quickly can you see oh say can you see My apologies guys if it doesn't come through but there it is so yeah it's a gray metal underneath um, there's still a lot of uh, residual um, EDP on there um, so what you know go through the whole knife scrape it all clean and then maybe just take a little acetone and just wipe it and you wipe it a few times and it loosens the grip on the steel surface the grip of the EDP on the steel surface and uh, you'll um, you'll get there it's not a, an easy pro you want that easy process just find yourself a, a, a paint stripper thing and just dunk it in there and go but you run the risk you got to make sure that paint is not going to etch I mean the paint stripper is not going to etch your metal or do any other damage to your metal and and if you're going to do that you might want to remove um your scales because uh, this is g10 and it could it's most likely impervious to most paint strippers and things but why take the chance it's got a couple of screws take them off mask off the areas or you know and, and make sure that the uh the container you use is plastic so the tip doesn't touch the bottom of a glass jar or put a cork on it or something so the tip doesn't touch the bottom of the glass jar because it'll dull the tip and um, strip the, and you could do it the easy way and just uh, just go at it once the the acetone has softened your your EDP a little bit just go at it and there's gonna be a little less elbow grease but more acetone stink and, and everything else right so um, so that's my little video on this and um, hopefully by later on this evening I'll have it looking good and I'll um, I might um, I might include a little video later about how it looks and just uh, explain the process a little bit again so uh, or else this video is going to get really long-winded so that's it for today or at least for this video uh, I hope uh, you found it somewhat informative of course I didn't cover all the bases probably left a lot of things out um, but you know I'm just giving you a general because I mean uh, a lot I can't teach you how to do things I can't teach you the skills if you don't know how to you know work tools uh, this might be a little challenging but it's not it uh, the concept is extremely simple but the actual doing it it can be a little challenging and uh, again you, if you're not if you're not mindful of the certain things that I pointed out earlier on the in the video um, you can you can definitely do a little bit of a, of a mess and uh, it would be pointless to undertake right so anyways guys have yourself a good day I think it's Wednesday but whatever uh, it doesn't matter because it might not the video might not be uploaded 
on this day. So um, most likely it will be, but I don't know. I, I'm uh, sort of um, in a brain fog today because my, my head's all over the place. Angry at eBay for losing an order. Angry at another member for not... Uh, not angry, but just, you know, my mind is there thinking about, like, why, uh, you know, why do members, uh, you know, uh, who love knives uh, treat other, other, other members uh, poorly? And I, it just sort of gets to me a little bit because there's some money that they received and I haven't received my knife yet. And they keep saying that the knife is coming, but I haven't seen it. And I'm sure uh, you've heard that story before from other people, so it's not a new story. So anyway, that's why my brain is a little bit out of out of place. And um, anyways, that's it for today, guys. Have a good one.